guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a massive Christmas Lush haul. Now the range came out on the 1st of October so I was pretty much straight down the shop but I didn't get every single item in the Christmas range because that would cost an absolute fortune. But I managed to get most of my uh, favourite ballistics and shower gels so yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so firstly, Rose Jam has come back. Now, if you didn't know, this is my favourite shower gel of all time. Now, they've actually done a massive litre bottle. I didn't see it in the shop when I went in there, but I am most definitely going to get it before Christmas is over. Now, Rose Jam smells of rose and lemon. Sounds disgusting, but oh my gosh. It is incredible. It has argan oil in it, so you can wash your hair with it. Um, but yeah, it is an absolutely amazing shower gel. I definitely recommend getting this for a friend, your parents, or just for yourself, like I have. Next is Snow Fairy. Now, Snow Fairy is a huge classic. It has been around for years, and everyone likes it, basically. Now, it does have some shimmery bits in it, but it's not dangerous or dangerous for your drains because it's made out of agar agar gel. Um, it smells like candy floss. Oh, I've forgotten how good it smells. It does remind me of sweets, um, but yeah, definitely magical. It is so amazing. Right, on to the ballistics. Now, I got a lot of these. I absolutely love the Lush Christmas Ballistics. I actually think they're better than the normal everyday range. Um, I got a lot. Oh gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so firstly is So White. Now this is named after Snow White because, I think it's because it's in the shape of a snowball. Doesn't really make sense. Anyway, it smells like apple and they've given Snow White a makeover this year. Just look at that. They've given it a little apple leaf. That's so cute. Um, they've actually put some um, colours in it, so I'm expecting this to go multicoloured. Well, I hope it's going to go multicoloured. Before, it did go pink. Um, so, yeah, I'm really intrigued to see what happens in this one. It smells just so fresh. Next up is the Luxury Lush Pudding. Now, this is my favourite because it smells just like Twilight, and Twilight is my favourite bath bomb. Um, it smells exactly the same as last year, and it actually looks the same too. Now, just look how pretty it looks. How can you not resist this? I just think it's so cute. Now, last year, this did go all multicolours, so the little, like, I don't know, blobs kind of just all kind of disperse out but I just think it's just so super cute definitely get this for a stocking filler for anyone really it's so relaxing next we have Northern Lights bath bomb now I believe this is actually a new one this year um I wasn't overly keen on the smell but my sister really really liked it it has jasmine citric acid ylang ylang and cream of tartar so it's very good for the skin and it smells very relaxing by the sounds of it. Okay, so it's a very big one. It was a bit dear. I think it was a bit more expensive than the others, but it looks quite cool. I reckon you can actually divide this into two baths, but if you really want to treat yourself, go for the whole lot. Um, I'm expecting it to go purple, orange, and blue, so it's an interesting one. But yeah, okay, it's not overly bad. Actually, it smells like Christmas Eve bubble bar, if you remember it and I really like that. Oh, I'm so sorry I dished you to start off with. That smells so good, actually. Never judge a bath bomb at the first sniff. Okay, next up is Nevermind the Ballistic. Now, again, this is a brand new one. I have never tried this. Um, so this one has a lot of cocoa butter in it, lime oil, and sweet orange oil. So this is gonna be a tangy one. Ooh, that is so traditional. Okay. Oh my gosh, I remember this one. <gasps> Just look how amazing this looks. Now, it feels really cocoa buttery at the top, so I think they've encased it in a, in a melt by the looks of things. Now, this smells super fresh, so if you like lemon, oranges, limes, this one is for you. Now, this reminds me of the traditional um, thing of putting a Saksuma in a sack, but get this one. Oh, what does it remind me of? 
Saksumas? Yeah, Saksumas. Okay, next up is the Father Christmas Bath Ballistic. Santa Claus. Now, I need you guys to help me because I swore that not last year but the year before it smelled a bit citrusy, but now it smells just like Snow Fairy. Am I going crazy? Just let me know in the comments because I think I'm right. I mean, I used to work for them and it didn't smell like Snow Fairy then. So the uh, Father Christmas bath bomb just looks so festive. It's like the perfect one for Christmas. Just look at him. He looks incredible. Now, the water goes like a really nice dark um, orangey slash red, so it's perfect for Christmas. And yeah, you really do smell like Snow Fairy. And marshmallows. You smell delicious. <gasps> I absolutely love this one. Now, this is my other favorite bath ballistic, and it's a Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. Now, this one, has had a makeover as well and I'm just super excited to show you because I think it looks really, really good. Da, da, da. It's got little glittery bits in it. Now the lady said to me that there's three stars on it but there's a fourth star in it. Yes, a fourth star. Now the previous years the uh, bath bomb did go multicolored, but I'm not quite sure if it does. I hope it does but oh, it just smells incredible. It smells like honeybee bath ballistic but so much better. Absolutely get this. If you're unsure what to get someone for Christmas and you want to get them a bath bomb, absolutely 100% get this one. What's next in my bag? Okay, so this is Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. Now this one, I actually don't remember picking up. I have absolutely no idea what it looks like. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's just a normal star and it smells of jasmine. Jasmine, am I right? I think so, but it's just such a great basic bath bomb. Now it does have like slight shimmer in it, but again, it's not harmful, it won't block your drains. But yeah, I just think this is like a really cute one if you think someone suffers from like skin problems because it doesn't look like it would be too irritable, but beautiful scent. Okay, next we have the Peeping Santa Bubble Bar. Now this one looks so, so cute. I personally love bubble bars um, from Lush because you can use them up to two to three times. So, you know, it's just not a one goer. It is like a three goer, if that makes sense. Okay, so this one looks really, really cool actually. I remember it had eyes. <laughs> okay, here we go. There he is, guys. He looks like a little squished Santa. <laughs> now, this reminds me of a previous product. I really can't remember. Oh, gosh, I can't remember. But it's kind of in between um, Candy Mountain, which has come back, by the way, but I didn't get it, um, and something else. But it's just amazing. It's got um, like a creamy center, so it's really good for moisturization. And it looks like a little macaroon. So cute. Okay, so lastly, I got the Butter Bear Bath Bomb. Now, I don't think it was out last year, but it most definitely was the year before, but I might be completely wrong. Um, but it smells just like Butterball, and I do know that Butterball is actually one of Zoella's favorites, so there we go. So the Butter Bear Ballistic is, just looks so cute. Just look at it. He's beautiful, smells great. <laughs> And just full of cocoa butter. You can just see the cocoa butter just like peering out of the ballistic. Um, but yeah, absolutely get this if you most definitely have dry skin. This is going to rehydrate you back to life. Okay, like I said at the beginning, I didn't get every single product in the Christmas range. Um, but they most definitely did have Golden Wonder. They had um, the Penguins. The Penguin Bubble Bars are back. And also Candy Mountain. Um, they also had jellies, um, soap. They had Bush Noel uh, cleanser, and I believe they also had some other products, so be sure to go down to your local Lush store because it's all out now. But there we go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment below. Which one was your favourite? Actually, what is your favourite Lush Christmas product? Let me know. I most definitely have to say it is um, the Luxury Lush Pudding for me and Shoot for the Stars Bath Bomb. Be sure to follow me on all my social media sites. All the links to those are down below. But as always, guys, please make sure that you link, like, and subscribe. And a very Merry Christmas from Altoria. Goodbye. Damn, I so should have put my hat and my Christmas jumper on for the video. 
I'm so sorry guys, I should have done that. Okay, this next item I couldn't really justify buying because I definitely wouldn't need it. And it is, drum roll please, the kid's urinal. A kid's urinal. I am baffled, I didn't even know this existed. And basically you can buy a potty to mount to the wall so that your child can pee into it. I'd be scared that they'll pee on my wall. 